Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator. I have over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Uh, in the last video, we installed Server 2019 in our uh, ESXi environment, our lab environment. Uh, today, what we're working on is creating the a virtual lab switch or a virtual switch uh, for our lab environment in our uh, in our host here. And so, what you'll need to do is log into your VMware ESXi host. We'll navigate over here uh, to networking. By the way, I'm using version 6.7. We're going to go to the virtual switches tab and add a standard virtual switch. I have one set up right now, and you can see all of my VMs are part of this switch. We want to break off these two lab uh, systems to their own switch. So we'll go back to networking. We're going to create a standard virtual switch here. And we're going to give it lab switch 01. And we'll use the first port that's available. We're going to click add. And now we have lab switch 01. We now have to come over to port groups and create a port group for that switch. And I will call it lab pg01. And that will be attached to lab switch 01. Let's clear that out. We'll click add. And now you can see we have this port group here. If you come back to lab DC01, we'll come up to edit. And it's going to load the page here. And we're going to change this VM where it says VM network or this network adapter. We're going to pull this drop down here and we're going to change it to the lab port group 01. I'm going to click save. Uh, off camera, after we installed DC01, um, I created another VM for DC02 because uh, there'll be some future videos of uh, you know FISMO roles and uh, all that type of stuff that I want to show replication between uh, two domain controllers. So I, I built up a second one. Um, so we'll move this guy over to PG01 as well. Now, if you come back to networking and go to virtual switches, you can go come up to our first V switch here, and you should see that those two DCs yep, have moved off of this virtual switch. So we can come back to networking, go to lab switch 01, and now you can see that these two domain controllers are on this virtual switch, which is connected to VM NIC zero, uh, which I'll put on a separate VLAN probably in, in our environment or just not connected at all because these machines don't have, uh, there's no need for them to uh, hit the internet uh, at this point. So um, guys, hopefully you like this quick, simple video on how to create a virtual switch for your lab environment. Uh, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment, uh, turn on your post notifications so you can see uh, when I post up the latest video. You can also follow along. I have a personal blog site, achubber.com. I have some write-ups over there as well.